So I gotta go to tools and turn on the mic. <sighs> Shouldn't have to turn it on every fucking time, but okay. Hello, 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 hello. Don't stand So, welcome to Star Trek Online Sunday Klingon Dance Party. We will start with our good friend, Gadge. I don't know why the game's running slow today. Maybe if I close the internet. To the Crusa system. Time to shoot some federations in the face. Metaphorically speaking, of course. I'm more likely shooting this ship in the face rather than them specifically. <laughs> it would be interesting if you were the one guy who was like staring at the wall as the disruptor beam burned through the hull. So it would be quite literally in your face for like that briefest of seconds. Hmm. Yeah, the Krusta system. I apologize for the snoring. My roommate is trying to sleep. She's off for a reason. I'm starting an hour and a half late. Ah, sector space. The most boring place to be in this game. Because it's really just kind of lying through space. Not much to do until you actually get to where you're going. Uh, I guess I can adjust my, uh... Mm -hmm. Reverse shield polarity. That was something one of the extra numbers has. Yeah. I really don't like that they put your party members uh, abilities in your drop down menu. I'd rather them stay where they are. But such is life. <laughs> Auxiliary battery, even though I never use them. So we are about to see what's next on the Klingon dance party. 
Though I do understand Klingon dance party is kind of a misnomer. I guess I could just do the dance animation like on every landing we do. I had considered doing some sort of voice alteration once. And I was like, well, you've already heard my voice unaltered, so what's the point of giving you an alteration at this point? So, we just fly through space till we get to the curse system. That's a cat sneezing in the background. You just kind of learn to deal with it. And of course, it doesn't actually get me to the spot where I need to be. Which is right here. Okay, before I start this mission, I need to go into my escape. Rearrange HUD. I need to be able to actually see my uh, warp scale. It's from the compressed screen. Maybe if I uncompress the screen a bit by shrinking the uh, chat window some more, things can stretch out better. So we'll rearrange HUD. There, put that. There, put that. There. No priority interactions. Special trade there. And. Hmm. Arrange HUD. Put that there. Continue test of meta. Captain, I'm getting the same sense of reading from the planet. Sense reading that the planet, that the planet detected. Federation starship that matches the type you want to engage is located on the far side of the moon. The ship and crew are ready for your commands. May fortune favor the bold today. Kapla will engage them in combat immediately. Time to go shoot some dudes in the face, in the face, in the face. We're gonna murderize them in the face.
cloak first. Got to be sneaky after all. Do -do -do -do. Not particularly fond of the design of this ship, but it is what it is. Nothing to change at the moment. Just sneaking around the moon. Because I'm playing Klingons today, and nothing but Klingons. And that's why there's going to be a Klingon dance party. Target shields have failed. Yeah, Twin B is the reason I'm an hour and a half late today. Because she refuses to sleep until she absolutely has to. And the whole gameplay of space is sort of like dancing. You're constantly jockering for, jockeying for position, moving in and out of each other's line of fire. Warning, it's quite romantic, ship is actually. under attack. Target shields have failed. Four shields failing. I don't know. It's just been a thing she's been doing lately. I blame it on Skyrim. But yeah, she's routinely not going to sleep until no earlier than... 1.30 Which isn't good considering she has to be woken up within a few hours to watch or do a stream most days And basically she didn't stop playing Skyrim until the game's like eh, I'm gonna crash now Ever since she started modding Skyrim, she just she's unstoppable. Though I did find out something Target today. Have failed. The pretty much the game just crashed on her. After she'd been playing for God knows how long. <laughs> so maybe it's the game, it's a survival mechanism within the game. It understands that the gamer will not stop, so it stops the gamer. <laughs> this was all a trap set up by remnants of the House of Torque. They knew you had a new ship, sir, and that you would want to test it in battle. They were counting on that to catch you in an ambush. 
Fortunately for us, such a battle was a fantastic start to the Dravumu's record of battle. I will log this victory myself. Kapla. Like I said, like it would be a great thing. It's like if you could invent a game that can deliberately shut itself off when it detects that the user has been playing too long for safety. It would actually be kind of a neat thing. It probably saves some Koreans lives considering how many of them will spend 50 plus hours on one game session of an MMO in a row. You're like, we know you love this game, but you do need to sleep and eat occasionally. Like, what was it? There was like several women who lost children because they got so sucked into a game in Korea, uh, MMO in Korea, that they lost track of what was going on, and the baby starved to death. That's what DRM should be. It should be a safety measure. Yeah. It's like I hate censorship, but I also hate the idea of people ruining games for everyone because they decide to play for so long everything dies around them. Really? Just scanning anomalies to get stuff for crafting. Oh, yeah. I do find it funny that all the Klingon energy stuff is red and all the Romulan stuff is green and the Federation is blue. It's like they're trying to color code the factions or something. Why those colors? Why red, blue, and green? It's constantly those colors. Why can't we get some yellow or orange or fuchsia? We can leave the soon system as soon as you're ready, sir. So I may have been wrong in my initial assessment about the stories diverging only after about 20 levels. The Starfleet Klingon War storyline was still going on up until like level 40 on one of my other characters, so maybe there's a lot more difference than I initially thought nowadays. Test of metal. Hapang. Hard pang torpedo launcher. Serve the Empire well. Kapla! Hmm. Second star to the right and straight on till morning. Serve the Empire well. Kapla! And it could also be that I just haven't played this stuff in a while, so I didn't know. Let's see. Ground. 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 I need some space traits, yo!
Oh, I'm not interesting enough to watch by itself. You gotta go play Marvel superheroes. I see how it is. I get it. I'm not offended. I know you do, but that's because I just like to be a bit of a ass at times, because I find it funny. So I think I may have found a way to get around uh, Twitch and its, and its indecisive censorship of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I have to record a version of the game, anything involving the clubs, I guess, to my computer and then put that on YouTube to make up the difference. Oh, I don't know how to overlay it. I just upload the second video. I ain't like smart and shit. So I will say this. Uploading that first video to YouTube. Ugh, direct uploads to YouTube suck. They suck so bad. He's like, oh, first 95% goes by like nothing. And that last 5% is like, yeah, we're going to be here for a few hours. Had a couple of veggie burgers and some pretzels and a seltzer water. Yes, music in the game that was only in the game, not anywhere else. It's like I can understand if the game was using like like music you hear on the radio or something. That's one thing. But a game's music specifically made for and contained entirely within the game getting banned because of copyrights. But yet they're not banning the whole game. It, it makes no goddamn sense. The Empire claims this system are centuries old, but we are forced to surrender this area to the Federation under the Kidmer Accords. It was a mistake, one we have now corrected. Still, the Federation makes a feeble attempt to claim what was never truly theirs. Join us in glory as we defeat Starfleet! With your aid, we can keep the system in the hands of the Klingon Empire. Don't know why I broke into that voice, but okay. Uh, morning star. Warning. Ship is under They're attack. really good. You almost can't tell it's not meat. Target shields have failed. I love how I just kind of flew under that ship, leaving the minefield there. <laughs> Target like, I'm just gonna leave failed. these here. <laughs> Take out that Hope Class Science Vessel.
And smart grounds works really well as a replacement for your like ground beef Warning. or something. Ship is under attack. I just reversed the polarity of the neutron flow. Peregrine fighters. They weren't introduced until the Dominion War because they needed to stop getting in or get the Jem Hadar ships, which were much more fast and agile Target and battle purpose than, than the Federation. Was. Because, like all realities, war increases technology. The USS DeWitt is completely disabled, Captain. Boarding parties are standing by and prepared to transport on your command. Starfleet security teams are active on the ship. This area is clear of enemy life signs. We will cut through the engineers and medical section, engineering and medical sections of the ship. We should have a fairly just direct route. And as promised, time for the dance. Really? Not one of those works for the dance? There we go.
And there's the Klingon dance party. I can't decide if the dancing is better or worse than Shepard's. I'm leaning toward worse than Shepard, but I don't know, that's pretty damning. Well, at least there's more variation. And the final dance of this particular dance party. Better or worse than Shepard, the fans decide in comments. Too bad you can't have the dance animation going while you're in the middle of a fight because that would look hilarious as all get out. Let's dance after every amount, every time I kill an excessive amount of people. Oh yeah. I so want to get Mass Effect for uh, PC because I would love to stream that series after I'm done with like Fallout 4 or something. Be fun. That would be a fun stream, I gotta say. Especially if I can get people online to do the multiplayer a few matches of that here and there. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, everybody's dead. Time to dance. So essentially, this Nausikin is really enjoying his work. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Do Mass Effect and Dragon Age? They found us! Starfleet security details are transporting to this location. They've raised force fields to lock us engineering. We'll need to deal with both of these problems before we can proceed to the bridge. I don't know why I felt like the Gorn should have Kirk's voice, but it seems to be fun. Go, Jackal Mastiff! Forcefield is down, sir. We should keep moving to and reach the bridge before Starfleet tries something rash like deleting computer banks. There's a turbo list to hit. That should be able to get us to the bridge. But we'll need to act quickly. Okay, everybody's dead ice. Nope, people are still alive. So I gotta kill them before I can dance. It's raining Starfleet! Hallelujah! It's raining Starfleet! Got a lot of their ideas like, oh, we need to get down to the yard. The quickest way to do that? Let's jump 50 feet straight down. Because nothing could possibly go wrong. Damn you! <laughs> hey, he doesn't feel like dancing right now. You gotta be completely out of combat animation. I get it. Or you can do the dancing. Ah, 
Time for you all to die. Time for you all to die. You're gonna die as my green beams of death lands into your faces. You're all gonna die, you're all gonna die, you're gonna die. Is that the best or worst time to dance is when you've lived it, uh, murdered a whole bunch of people? Those are the questions, friends. Those are the questions. In the next room over. Quite odd. You'd think I would have found the other uh, resource, but I guess it's on a different level that I can't access anymore. Oh well. Oh, crap. Will do. Where's the roof? This section has been evacuated, and if the Patoks were smart, they would have they locked down the door. The computers will find them. That means Turbo Lips will be offline too. If we can find an active console, I should be able to bypass the security lockout and reroute power to Turbo Lips. An essential system like environmental controls or emergency medical console would be our best chance. We should look for something like that.
Guess I could check these side rooms too, just to be certain. Aha! There it is. So I might not be able to unlock these lock boxes, but I can certainly sell them. Transfer successful, Captain. Turbo lift active and should take us directly to the bridge. I guess Edsons aren't good enough to get personal shields. can't have them and don't bother asking my crew I locked out all voice controls from Starfleet personnel I'd rather destroy the ship than let you have it so if I tell you do your worst I won't betray the Federation Know that. That information is Starfleet only only Starfleet Command knows. Please let my crew go and I'll take full responsibility for the actions of this vessel. I can't. I won't. No more! No more! I'll surrender! I'll give you the code you need to get past Star the Federation's defenses in the solar system. But you'll be dead before you get pa past the first outpost. You're crazy if you think you can attack Earth. You'll have every phaser bank on every ship and in the entire... F in the entire Federation aimed at you before you even drop out of warp. Beam shit. 
Oh, crap. I forgot he dropped something. Damn it. Oh, well. DeWitt is too heavily damaged to be of any use to the Empire. Lieutenant Commander, I recommend we use it for a little target practice. Warning. Ship is under attack. Really? My inventory is full? Okay. We should contact come at, contact Jim Pock to let him know we've obtained Soul System security codes from Captain Hollingsworth so we can get permission to use them, sir. Hailing Kronos, putting it on screen. You are a brave warrior for even suggesting a frontal assault on the Soul System. While I know you want the glory that would come with an attack on Earth, I think you will find greater success for yourself as well as the Empire by attacking Federation's main shipbuilding facility on Mars, Utopia Planitia Shipyards. The Federation's third fleet is stationed at Utopia Planitia, which is also the Federation's main ship repair and construction facility. If we can deliver a severe blow to them there, then Starfleet will have much more difficult time repairing the damage, its damaged vessels. Strike there, and Starfleet's ability to fight will be severely hindered. Feel free to take along with you anyone who is willing to go join your plan. I look forward to hearing the great tale of victory and honor. Serve the Empire well! Lieutenant Commander, the forces stationed here at Alethia have proven themselves admirable warriors. We should consider recruiting them for our raid against Utopia Planitia. We would be honored to fight alongside you again. Those Federation Targs will regret the day they came to our system and started a fight with the Klingon Empire. We are prepared to leave on your orders. Himyag Kwa Jamin. I can't say Klingon. Other ships are forming up on our flank and are ready to follow, sir. Let us strike a mighty blow for the Empire. Warp to Mars.
So, Ebony, what kind of game is this Marvel superheroes game you'll be playing? Captain, we're at the heart of the Federation. The Federation's third fleet is here. Just like Jim Pock told us, the shipyard itself is too heavily shielded, shielded for us to be able to do any real damage. But if we target the ships, we can jam up Starfleet's repair facilities for months to come. We need to disable communications from Mars using the codes we obtained from the DeWitt. If we don't act quickly, the Federation will realize that we're at their doorstep. Warning, ship is under attack. Selective collision detection, gotta love it. Warning, ship is under attack. Lotter? Cam Lotro? How are you? I just felt like weakening the ships beforehand. Makes it a little bit easier when you go get to them. Though so I'm wondering why the Federation has disruptor cannons at their base, considering they are opposed to disruptors as weapons, but... Eh. Warning. Ship is under attack. What are we gonna do, right? Warning. 
Warning, ship is under attack. Ah, these Paragon fighters are so annoying. Target's shield has Dodging failed. Little bastards. fire before. Yeah, technically I'm from the USA. Warning, ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. Four shields failing. Right shields failing. Jesus Christ, where's all this fire coming from? I like get every fighter ever here. Target shield have failed. Rear shield failing. Hull integrity below seventy five percent. to the next calm tower. Warning, ship is under attack. Four shields failing. Target shields have failed. below 75%. Left shield failing. Hull integrity below 
set. Target's shields have failed. Communication satellites has been disabled. Have been disabled. We are still in great danger, Captain. The third fleet has been alerted to our presence and are working to launch a ship in dry dock that can move or fire a phaser. If we destroy the ships before they become fully operational, we'll be able to deal a significant blow to the Federation's ability to wage an effective campaign against the Empire. Federation deny, is denying us an honorable death by disabling our ships and taking us prisoner. May their souls burn in Grithor for all in eternity. Lieutenant Commander, I normally I know you normally wouldn't hear such an idea, but under the circumstances, I recommend you leave the system before your ship is captured as well. There is no this is no way for a warrior to end their days. Leave the Mars system. I never expected you would survive a frontal attack on the soul system, Lieutenant Commander. It is, however, unfortunate that your fellow warriors were captured. I will consider whether a rescue operation is feasible. Until then, enjoy your victory. You have earned it. Mm, we'll go with the plasma. Serving <laughs> Empire well. Kapla! Damn, all that shit hit at once. <laughs> Keep your enemies closer. Valiant warriors are being held by Federation. By the Federation, the Federation's idea of mercy is to allow our soldiers to rot and stale instead of seeking an honorable death. I spit upon their mercy. We are Klingon. I will allow you to attempt to rescue your fellow warriors from their terrible fate, but you need, but you will need to be cunning to do so. The Federation penal colony is highly guarded, and only Starfleet vessels may approach. I know where you can inquire of a Starfleet runabout. If you're up to the challenge, serve the Empire well. Can't grab a new officer because my party's currently full. Let's see. 
see, we'll go with weapon proficiency because that's always handy to have. Um, shield systems. Increases my shield hit points. Well, first we'll pop. Two points there, two points there. And then we'll do a point there. If this rescue plan is going to have any chance of success, we will need to secure a Federation runabout. Once we have that, we can use it to get to the penal colony facility, the penal facility in the Gamma or Kana system. Oh, Kana system. But first, we'll need to get past Federation ships patrolling outside the station. One of the things I think they should do is let you lay mines while cloaked. Could that be kind of cool? Target shields have failed.
shields have failed. Left shields failing. Shields failing. It's a cloaking device. It's meant not to be fair. If they've got abilities that can completely shut down your ship's defensive systems, you should have abilities to completely shut down their offense by basically laying a bunch of mines around them that they can't avoid. Rear shields failing. At least I'd like to let them have them change it so when that you when you attack hit the attack buttons while cloaked it'll just drop you out of cloak and begin the attack instead of having to manually decloak before attacking. Captain, there's a gap that will allow to beam allow us to beam aboard. The away team is standing by, sir. We must hurry. Star, this star base has a full complement of runabouts. We can get to this if we can get to the shuttle bay. We should be able to take a runabout off the station. With the confusion in orbit caused by our ships, our ships in orbit, we will be able to disable the tractor beam and security measures that place the that are our, and secure tractor beam and security measures in place at the shuttle bay before we steal the runabout. Also. Said, it's the Klingon dance party. Ugh, that snoring is so annoying. Enemy target on center. You guys can cut the klaxons already. I mean, seriously. We all know you've been invaded. Jumbo Romulan Mollusk. That sounds like a porno. <sighs> it's 
so nothing of great import in here. <sighs> Ooh, Thor, Trinium, Trinonium gas. I think I'm gonna have to make some coffee. Maybe I'll make it up in the French press. <laughs> Hey guys, you know how you're just kind of casually walking? I've got a present for you! Present! And? barrel sink
do mark. Terminus. I wonder if Naze is going to show up after he rolls out of bed. <laughs> Captain, Starfleet has locked down their computer system. We need, and we need control of their tractor beam to ensure we can escape with the runabout. We need to find the central command console, bypass their security measures. Engineering is located nearby. We should be able to find a suitable console there. Thank you. 
Breaking damage detected. Pretty sure he party pretty hardy. But then again, I don't know if Nay's if Nay's partying like us is like other people party. I imagine a party for Nay's involves girls of questionable age in questionable outfits. I've bypassed the security lockouts and scrambled the tractor beam controls. It is useless. We, we'll need to get to this shuttle bay. We need to disable the docking lock before we can Enemy depart. Control should be in the shuttle bay control room. Personal shield losing power. Docking clamps released. We are ready to leave, Captain.
Gunzooter Blots. We are ready to depart on your order, sir. Leave Cape Starbase 157. We done did it! And the Federation ships in orbit around the penal facility aren't reacting to us as hostile, sir. No, correction. The Federation ships in orbit around the penal facility aren't reacting to us as hostile, sir. But, I wouldn't put too much stock in that. As soon as we do something unexpected, they'll start coming, they'll come running to investigate. We need to act quickly to disable the security measures around the station so we can beam aboard at rescue our warriors. The ship must have seen us disabling the security beacons, sir. We'll need to destroy them before they can alert others to the presence. Crap. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. So they have to be about four kilometers away for not to register. I see.
I imagine there's some way to do this mission where you won't get caught. I just don't know it yet. Ship is under attack. We need to move quickly before Starfleet can act to stop us. Our warriors are being held in the cells nearby. So what sort of game is this Marvel superheroes game you're playing, uh, Ebony? Is it kind of like a MOBA or something? Shields are down, Kim. Time to free our fellow warriors.
We'll show these honorless dogs how real warriors fight. I demand revenge. The blood of the Federation will wash away my, the stain of my armor. Honor. No. It shut down all force fields. It should have shut down the force field leading to that. Resource I wanted to pick up. I know it was. I remember seeing it. Ah, nope. It is on the other side. Should have been put down when I shut down all the freaking four fields. Ah, son of a biscuit. Maybe if I do something in here. Enemy target on sensor. Flanking damage detected. Personal shield losing power. How free to play are we talking? Are we like free to play, free to play, or if you want any character you want, you can buy him free to play? The way is clear to the Shuttle Bay Captain.
and you don't have any way to like earn in-game currency to acquire those characters, you have to buy them. Ah, so it's almost pay to win. If you want any of the decent characters, you're gonna have to pay. Warriors take the warriors take the runabouts while we beam back to the one we left in orbit. Getting out of orbit will be a challenge, but if we survive, it'll be a story for the ages. I'm assuming the premium characters are the ones that are actually any good, aren't they? We have the warriors on board and we'll return to the homeworld. It was an honor to have fought beside you, Kapla. Course laid in for the homeworld, sir. Leave on your own. Go land on Kronos here. You made a name for yourself in the Klingon Empire. I'm sure that I will hear more songs sung about your glorious victories. Those warriors owe you their lives and their honor, and the Empire owes you a debt of gratitude. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. I see. We have reports of a true way fleet entering the neutral zone and engaging our ships, as well as Federation vessels near the Deton 2 system. We need you to intercept the true way and learn why they are so far from their territory. While you're out there, destroy Federation ships as well. A small fleet has already been, in, been sent to the area. You will need to join them at the Detanu system. Ooh, let's see. What do we want to do? Now we'll grab that. Doesn't have anything to have. 